Hello grade tens and welcome back to another Waves video with me, Miss Martins. Follow for more physics videos. I do physics, I do chemistry, I do math. So let's go. In today's video, we're going to be looking at period and frequency, particularly of a transverse wave. Remember, if you've missed any of the other wave videos in this playlist, the playlist will be linked in the description box below. Let's jump right into this video. The definition for the period of a wave. Period, symbol, big T, I'll talk about that in a second. But the definition for period of a wave is the time. So period is all about time. The time taken for one complete wave pulse. You will see slight variations on the definition, so just make sure you study the correct one given by your teacher. But the time taken for one complete wave pulse, and I said here it's measured in seconds, it's measured in a unit of time. So just to quickly, quickly clarify, just so we are all on the same page, remember there's a difference between a symbol and a unit of measurement. So the symbol is T. Remember, a symbol is just another way of writing period. So instead of writing the period of wave A is equal to, let's say, whatever, five seconds, instead of writing that whole thing, we can write the period of A, T, representing the word period. So the period is five seconds. S or seconds is the unit. And this is just a very important side note. If you write out the, the um, seconds as your unit, you cannot say sec. In matric, we will mark you down if you say sec. I mark matric papers, I know what I'm talking about. You can say S, seconds, or write out the full word seconds. So, period is the time taken for one complete wave pulse. In order to correctly identify the period when given a graph such as this one, you need to know how to find one wave or one wavelength on a graph. And in order to do that, you need to understand points in phase. So in this little diagram over here, they've shown from this crest to this crest, that represents one wave pulse or one wavelength or one wave. The time that it takes from here to here, that is the period. Now, if you look at this graph um, and you look at the axes given to you over here, it's a little bit difficult to read the period of this graph because the crest is over here. Um, I would say that it's a little bit over 1.5, but it's difficult to say. And over here, it ends at the crest over here. That is not quite 8 seconds. So I'm looking here, time seconds. So this would represent 0 seconds, 1 second, 2 second, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, and all the way up to 10 seconds. So the period would be between this point and this point. So between 1.5, more or less, and 8, more or less. So yeah, you guys can work that out. I'm going to show you a better representation of this. I drew this. The wave looks absolutely terrible. I freehanded it. But the point is, in order to determine the period from this graph, look at the axes. So the x-axis is measured in time. So that means the horizontal is telling me about time. So that's zero seconds. Here's one second. Here's two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, all the way to eight seconds. In order to find the period, remember the period is the time taken for one complete wave pulse. I need to find one wave or one wavelength. I'm going to start over here. That's one wave. So that's zero. And we end at 4. Therefore, the period is equal to 4 seconds. Another way that I can look at it, if I don't want to look at those points in phase, I can look from crest to crest. Those are the crests. Remember, I drew this wave quite badly. But this crest is at 1 second. This crest is at 5 seconds. So how much time passes between these two crests? Well, how do you get from 1 to 5? It is Four seconds. So the period of the wave is four seconds. So period, how long does it take for one wavelength to pass? How long does it take? So if I tell you the period is 10 seconds, it means that it takes 10 seconds for one wavelength to pass. That's quite long. A period of 0.5 seconds or one second, that's a short period. That means one wavelength passes just like that. I hope that makes sense. So here's another representation. There's no values on this one, but let's just pretend we put values on. So that was 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, something like that, 25, 30, and so on. 
in order to find the period i would look between two successive points in phase so say for example here to here that tells me 10 seconds or i could go crest to crest that would also be 10 seconds or i can go trough to trough that would also be 10 seconds so basically the period of this wave is 10 seconds Here's another way that they define period. It's basically the same thing. The time taken for one complete wave pulse or wave to pass a given point or to pass a specific point. Now, here's quite a tricky question for you. I took this from a past paper. It says it takes four seconds to complete the pattern from A to F. So from A to F, so that part of the wave, it takes four seconds to pass what is the period of this wave so the method that we apply here is very similar to the method that we applied when we worked out wavelength okay except this is obviously not working on wavelength it's working out period because they're giving me seconds they want period we know we need to measure it in seconds so what they're saying is from a to f takes four seconds so our first step is we're going to count the number of waves count the waves or the number of waves i'm going to say number of waves between a and f because they say it takes four seconds from a to f so let's count the number of waves between a and f we've got that's one wave i hope you can see because that and that those points are in phase so that represents one wavelength or one complete wave that's another wave so between a and f we've got two waves so if it takes four seconds to complete two waves so i'm going to write here four seconds to complete two waves how long do you think it's going to take to complete one wave remember the length of time it takes to complete one wave that is the period so if it takes four seconds for two waves it's going to take two seconds for one wave another way to do it is you count the number of waves so we've got two waves then you take the complete the full time which is four seconds and you divide it by the number of waves we get two seconds and if you think about it it does make sense if it takes two seconds for the purple one to pass remember the period is the time it takes for one wavelength to complete so the purple one pink one is one wavelength so that takes two seconds the yellow one takes two seconds together that's four seconds and they do say it takes four seconds to go from a to f okay so that's the whole thing pink and um, pink and yellow together so if frequency is the amount of time it takes for one wave pulse to pass a given point then what is frequency now the symbol for frequency is f that's nice because it makes sense frequency f the unit is hertz so I spelled out the word for you there, hertz, but we can say HZ as a shorthand. So for example, we could say the frequency is equal to 10 hertz. That's how you would write that. The frequency of the wave is 10 hertz. So frequency is the number of wave pulses per second. So in one second, how many wave pulses have gone by? So if I tell you the frequency is 10 hertz, that means in one second, 10 wave pulses go by. If the frequency is 50 hertz, what that means is in one second, 50 wave pulses go by. So which wave, number one or number two, has the higher frequency? Let's pretend that these diagrams represent the number of wave pulses that pass for one second. So let's say it takes one second to do that. It takes one second to do that. How many, which one has more wave pulses per second? Clearly number one, look at all these wave pulses. There's a wave pulse, there's a wave pulse, there's a wave pulse, there's a wave pulse. There are a lot of wave pulses that take place that pass in one second for wave number one. So wave number one has a higher frequency, higher frequency. Wave number two, if you take a look at it, it's only one and a little, almost two wave pulses that take place in that second. So here's another example. On the top, we have a high frequency wave. On the bottom, we have a low frequency wave. And what is really, really cool is that period and frequency are reciprocals of one another. And what that means is if you know one of them, 
you can immediately get the other one by doing the reciprocal okay so basically reciprocals one over two and two over one those are reciprocals we basically flip the fraction so what that means is if my period is three seconds what's another way to write three three over one then what is my frequency one over three hertz so if you have period you can get frequency immediately if you have frequency you can get period immediately and these are the two formulas so period that's period remember that's the symbol for period is equal to one over frequency and frequency is equal to one over period so let's just test our knowledge on this very quickly with a few questions if the period of a wave is four seconds what is the frequency remember period is four seconds what is the frequency if you were to do this by using a formula if they asked you to calculate the frequency using a formula you would write the formula for frequency frequency is equal to one over period okay they asked for the frequency f is equal to one over period period is four seconds so frequency is a quarter and what's a quarter 0 0.25 what's your unit for frequency hertz so your frequency is 1 over 4 hertz or 0 0.25 hertz just the reciprocal remember you take whatever period is 4 over 1 and you flip it if the frequency of a wave is a half a hertz so what they're telling me is frequency is half a hertz what is the period remember there are reciprocals of one another so technically all we need to do is flip this fraction so period would be two over one seconds or two seconds if they want you to do it using a formula so if the question is two to three marks and they want you to do it using a formula what you would do is the following they're asking for period what's your formula for period one over frequency what is your frequency it's a half one divided by a half i know that looks weird but if you type that on your calculator you're going to get two seconds remember your units or you do not get your mark if 10 wavelengths pass a certain point in one second what is the period of the wavelength now remember what was the definition for frequency the number of wave pulses or the number of wavelengths per second so this question is telling me that I have 10 wavelengths per second. Remember, per second means one second, per one second. So if I have 10 wavelengths per second, that means that the frequency of the wave is 10 hertz. So if 10 wavelengths pass in one second, the frequency is 10 hertz. If 100 wavelengths pass in one second, the frequency is 100 hertz. I hope that makes sense what is the period so we are given frequency it's 10 they want the period so i'm going to write the formula period is equal to 1 over frequency so period is equal to 1 over 10 what's 1 over 10 it's 0 comma 1 seconds what about this question over here i know we did something similar but we didn't calculate frequency we calculated period remember we just did it so it says it takes four seconds to complete the pattern from A to F. So remember, that's one wavelength. We just did this. That's a second wavelength. It takes four seconds to go from A to F. So the period would be the time it takes to complete one wave. So if there's two waves from A to F, so it takes four seconds to complete two waves. How long will it take for one wave? So basically, what is the period? The period of the wave is two seconds. So if the period is two seconds, if you're confused by what I just did, we did this earlier in the video, this exact example. So if the period is two seconds, what is the frequency? Frequency is equal to one over period. So it is equal to one over two or 0 0.5 hertz. So this is a very common question that you can get in the exam. They can ask you to calculate frequency of the wave, but you first have to get period. And then from period, we get frequency by using this formula. So you first get period by counting the number of waves and then saying, well, it's four seconds divided by two waves. So period is two seconds. And then you got period, you can get frequency 
from that. In the next video, we will go over wave speed. In previous videos, we've gone over other properties of the wave. So if you've missed any of that, check out the link in the description box below. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.